Silent Separation Chapter 1 Seeing him again, was seven years later in a crowded supermarket, packed with weekend shoppers. Zhou Moshing was pushing a shopping cart alone and struggling to navigate in the crowd. She had just returned from abroad, so she was still not quite accustomed to such a crowd. However, such a vibrant and friendly scene made her unconsciously smile, virtually using a grateful mood to listen to the noisy local accent. She did not know whether other people who have just returned from aboard were like her. Excited, nervous. Seven years. Such a long time. However, how come she had just returned from aboard but already met him? No, to be precise, it should be them. Moshing silently looked at the pair of shadows standing in front of the vegetable stand, once again feeling a strange twist of fate. Seven years ago, it was they who made her decision to leave. Now they were here to buy things together so ultimately, they were also together. Fortunately, she ran away fast, otherwise, she would probably hurt deeper. He Yi Chen and He Yi Mai, she was so silly. Why did she think to have similar names were surely brother and sister? We are absolutely not brother and sister. Before, both of our families were very good neighbors. We all have the surname he so the adults just chose similar names. Later, Yi Chen's father and mother had an accident so our family adopted Yi Chen. You think you can compete and win over the two decades of deep affection between Yi Chen and me? Today, I want to tell you, I love Yi Chen. I do not want to secretly love him. I want to compete openly with you. That year when she was 19 years old, the day before Mo Xing's birthday, her good friend He Yi Mai, who had always been quiet and introverted, suddenly courageously made this declaration to her. Yi Mai, who had always been gentle and non-competitive would say something like that. She must have been extremely in love with Yi Chen. But what could she have used to compete with her? On the same day which Yi Mai declared war, she had already lost. Then, she fled to the United States for seven years. He Yi Chen, unexpectedly she recalled his ice-cold eyes on that day and heartless words. There was a trace of light throbbing pain in Mo Xing's heart, almost impossible to sense, nevertheless it was there. They were walking towards her direction. The joints of Mo Xing's fingers that were gripping the cart began to turn white, and she almost wanted to turn around immediately. However, the supermarket was just too crowded so she, who was pushing a shopping cart, simply could not turn around. In the next moment, she thought why should she run away? She should calmly say to them, Hi, long time no see then stroll away in an elegant and natural demeanor leaving behind a beautiful silhouette. Moreover, they probably could not recognize her. She had changed a lot, the flowing long hair of yesteryear had already become neat and short, and her previously fair skin had become tanned under the California sunshine. Wearing a loose t-shirt, jeans, and sports shoes, she looked very different from the past. They slowly step by step was getting closer, then brushed past her not without heartache. It seemed like someone spoke. Do you want to buy some milk? Yi Mai said in a soft voice, she did not hear the reply clearly. She really missed Yi Chen's deep and low voice. All these years in a foreign country, she could still hear it often and everywhere echoed in her ears. Feeling a sense of loss, yet also with a sigh of relief, Mo Sheng lifted her downcast head and strode forward. A bang sound could be heard as the shopping cart hit a pile of discounted soaps shaped like a hill on the ground. The culprit Zhou Moshing innocently looked at hundreds of pieces of soap falling down as the scene was quite spectacular. Uh, can she pretend she did not do anything? Oh, my god. This is already the third time today. The person who manages the stock in the supermarket appeared out of the blue and complained in a groan. Thus. She should not be blamed for this, as where God people put goods in the middle of the path. Moshing quietly complained and tried hard to look regretful. The movement here attracted the attention of the people around them, including He Yi Mai. She inadvertently looked to that particularly noisy place, then dumbfounded, it is her, 
It is actually her, Yi Mai almost could not believe her eyes. She has come back? Yi Mai? He Yi Chen was puzzled by her reaction, asked out loud and followed her line of vision. The tall and lofty body momentarily stiffened. Zhou Mo Sheng. That innocent-looking small woman who had her head drooping like a guilty child is exactly Zhou Mo Sheng. Her face looked 100% apologetic, but her eyes, without doubt, sparked with a mischievous smiling expression. Being far away, in fact, he could not truly see her face, but Yi Chen knew it was her. He has always known she has always been like this with a habit to disrupt a pond of spring water then leave without taking any responsibility, willful, selfish and hateful. Exactly seven years. She still knew the way home. He Yi Chen dropped his eyes. Yi Mai, let's go. He Yi Mai was surprised to see a calm Yi Chen. Don't you want to say hello? Maybe. She has not been a part of my life long ago. His tone was empty as if it was nothing. Yi Mai looked at his expression carefully but could not find any clues. Finally, she had no alternative but to sigh. Come on. When she had her last glance at Zhou Mo Sheng, she found that she also just happened to move her head and saw her, their line of vision collided in the air. Mo Sheng seemed stunned for a moment, then a faint smile emerged on her face and she greeted her by nodding her head. Yi Mai hurriedly turned around and called. Yi Chen. Yes? She. Yi Mai was shocked until coming to a halt. When she once again looked back at the moving crowd, she could no longer see her figure. What? No, nothing. Yi Mai lowered her head. But she clearly saw them, yet why she so easily went away like that? Whereas Yi Chen also clearly saw her. She did not expect to return here one day. During the interview, the editor-in-chief asked her, Miss Zhou, why did you choose to work in a city? Suddenly, Mo Sheng did not know how to answer. Why law? Because she studied for more than a year in a university here? Because she met him here? Because she suffered some hardships here? In the beginning, she also did not know. Before coming back, the first place she thought of was here. Until she met him that day. She only came to understand that she wanted to see him. Although he no longer belonged to her, she just wanted to see him. It was only to see him. Probably because I cannot go home. Mo Sheng said. The editor-in-chief looked at her strangely for a long time and hired her as a photojournalist for a certain woman's magazine. However, the editor-in-chief's excessive attention to her work experience in a magazine publisher aboard made her uneasy. It is just a little magazine publisher. Mo Sheng said to the editor-in-chief. Hey! Mo Sheng! The female editor-in-chief who was in her forties affectionately called her name. Are you praising my knowledge? That I even know so well about an unremarkable small magazine publisher in the US. Mo Sheng started to laugh, and her anxiety disappeared. The editor-in-chief said sternly, Mo Sheng. I know the great difficulty Chinese people who are photojournalists in the United States face. You have to be better than white people. They always think we Chinese people have no artistic talent. Like this, she settled down. She still went to that supermarket to shop but has never encountered them again. Until one time, the security guard in the supermarket stopped her. Miss, would you please follow me to the security room? Mo Sheng looked distracted and intuitively felt this could not be good. There were too many incidents regarding security guards in supermarkets forcefully conducting body searches and even beat up people being reported in the newspapers. Mo Sheng stared at him cautiously so the security guard helplessly said, Miss, I mean you no harm. I just want to ask if you have lost something a month ago. She had just returned to the country a month ago so could it be that she lost something but did not know? Out of curiosity, she went with him to the security room. The security guard handed her a black wallet. Mo Sheng did not need to look inside to know it was not hers so she smilingly shook her head and said, You made a mistake, this is not mine. The security guard was unexpectedly stubborn. 
you open it and take a look. She took and opened it. Then, she saw her own photograph. The security guard said with satisfaction, Miss, this is your photo, right? Although it is very different compared to now, I can still recognize you instantly. The difference was really big because that photo was taken when she had just entered university. Her hair was still long and tied into a ponytail, and her smile looked silly. How could it appear in an unfamiliar wallet? Mosheng gave the wallet back to the security guard. It's really not mine. The security guard was stubborn. Aaron, t you the person in the photo? Yes, I am, but the wallet is not mine. Then it must belong to someone who knows you. Miss, maybe the owner of the wallet has a crush on you. Hey, who said that Chinese people do not have a vivid imagination? But. You take it, take it since all this time nobody has come to claim it. It is also rather difficult for us to deal with it. It will be confiscated if we hand it over to our superior so you might as well have it. There is definitely some association between you and the owner of the wallet. Ah. Maybe I contributed to the beginning of a marriage match. With such imagination, the security guard must like to watch drama series. A month ago, she was also about the same time she ran into He Yi Chen and He Yi Mai. Could it be that he lost it? With this laughable speculation, Mo Xing took the wallet home. At night after bathing, she carefully studied the wallet in bed. With a simple design, luxury brand and little cash, it was not possible to determine the identity of the owner. Mo Sheng carefully took out the photo. There were traces of steel mark on it so it must have been torn from a document. When she inadvertently turned it over, she was suddenly startled by the words behind the photo. She could never forget that elegant and sharp handwriting. It was Yi Chen's handwriting written in black fountain pen my sunshine. The complex urban life could also be lived in a very simple way. Only work, eat, drink and sleep, nothing else. After a hectic period of adaptation, the following days became just numbing repetition. Moshing ah, I have been looking for you everywhere. Moshing had just entered the magazine publisher's office and heard someone shouting from a distance. Old Bay, what is the matter? Old Bay was actually very young and was the magazine publisher's another photojournalist. His surname was Lee but because he always mispronounced it so everyone jokingly called him Old Bay. He was really good at coaxing celebrities so he was responsible for the magazine's cover shots. My wife is about to give birth. Can you help me to take care of the photography session with supermodel Jojo tomorrow? Jojo? Moshing found it a little difficult. I don't have any problem, but I heard Jojo's temperament is weird. If you are not an acquaintance, she would probably not cooperate. Old Bay also thought of this and said, Well, you go and try first. If you really cannot, then call me. The next day when Moshing met the cool, elegant, glamorous and impressive Jojo, she was completely stunned. She was not familiar with the celebrities in the country and had never seen the photos of Jojo before so she did not know she was actually. Actually, she looked so much like a good friend in her university days. However, her friend was such a simple and clumsy country girl, but the person in front of her had her long legs crossed and her smoking gesture was so skillful and seductive. Mosheng did not dare to acknowledge her. Maybe they just looked alike only. However, supermodel Jojo squinted at Mo Sheng, then walked elegantly over and stopped in front of her. Hey, you do not recognize me, shall I? Ah! She chuckled sarcastically. If it is not me then who could it be? Mo Sheng, you and Jojo know each other? This is really good. The colleague who came together with her chimed in excitedly. When I was a first-year university student, she slept in the upper bed, I was in the lower bed. In university, bunk bed mates are the closest friends. Jojo's agent also joined in the conversation. Am I supposed to be photographed? Quickly shoot. Jojo impatiently said. She had really changed a lot. While taking photos, 
Moshing also thought the person under the lens was no longer the cute and clumsy Xiao Mai. Then who could she be? Perhaps nobody. A good photographer can capture the souls of the people under the lens. However, Moshing could not capture Zhou Zhou's soul. Maybe her skill was a lacking or the person under the lens did not have one. Zhou Zhou felt very empty. A kind of emptiness which made people powerless and desperate. Perhaps it was this kind of emptiness that propelled her to rise rapidly in popularity. Stop here. After shooting a session, Zhou Zhou waved her hand. We will stop here for today. But Zhou Zhou, there is more. Her agent eagerly said. Stop here. Zhou Zhou said firmly, then turned to speak to Mo Sheng, we will go for a cup of coffee. For this long-awaited reunion, we ought to go for a drink, but unfortunately recently, there is something wrong with my stomach so there is no choice but to drink coffee. Uh, a cup of coffee is good, or you should drink milk. Mo Sheng did not know what to say. There are too many things she wanted to ask but did not know where to begin. Health is very important so dieting should be done in moderation. Mo Sheng tried to find a neutral topic. I never go on a diet. Zhou Zhou smiled faintly. I'm an alcoholic. Xiao Mai. Mo Sheng was shocked by her friend's mistreatment of her own body. She anxiously reached out to take her hand. Why did Xiao Mai become like this? Zhou Zhou reflexively pushed away from the hand. Mo Sheng was stunned. The atmosphere turned awkward and quiet. You've changed a lot. After a while, Mo Sheng said softly. Yes, do you still remember my crush when I was a freshman? Zhou Zhou spoke of her own story coldly. One day, I told him I liked him, he accepted, but he did not love me. After that, Xiao Mai died, I am now Zhou Zhou. Zhou Zhou's words were like carvings into the heart. Mo Sheng felt distressed and was not able to ask anything else. After a while, Zhou Zhou coldly mocked, You have not changed much, still a hypocrite displaying insincere affection. How come you are willing to come back from the glittering United States saw? Her words somewhat hurt Mo Sheng but thinking about it, after all, she was in the wrong first. That year, she left without a word and did not keep in touch for seven years so she was the one who did not value their friendship. At that time, I left in a hurry. You do not need to say that to me. Zhou Zhou interrupted her. You should say those words to He Yi Chen. He Yi Chen? How come he is mentioned? Mo Sheng remembered that day he and Yi Mai behaving like a couple at the supermarket, I think he does not care. Does not care? Do you think everyone is like you, so unfeeling and heartless? Zhou Zhou's voice became agitated, the first few days when you went missing, he looked for you until he nearly went crazy. Later, he just waited all day downstairs in the dormitory, but what did he get in the end? Zhou Zhou's eyes coldly accused her. A few people came and took all your stuff away. Then, they told him and us that you have gone to the United States and may never come back. Mo Sheng, you are really cruel. Zhou Zhou paused and said, I will never forget the way he looked at that time, like a person falling off a cliff, his face dark and empty, extremely despair until people could not bear to see. He is such a proud person but to actually look like that. Mo Sheng listened until she was muddle-headed. Did that really happen? Maybe he felt guilty. Zhou Mosheng, the one who abandoned him to go to the United States was you so the one feeling guilty should be you. Xiao Mai, you do not understand. I have eyes to see. Mosheng stopped talking. Everyone thinks that she was the one who abandoned him. That's clearly not true. Definitely, he was the one who said. He said he did not want to see her again. He said he would rather he has never known her. He asked her to go the farther the better. Definitely, it was him. After saying goodbye to Zhou Zhou, Mo Sheng walked in the streets in early summer, Zhou Zhou's words still ring in her ears. He has always been single. He Yi Mai? Isn't she his sister? They surprisingly did not get together. Then why did she leave during that time? Then, why did he say those words? 
she spread out her palm, a piece of paper with the address of Yuan Xiong He law firm laid in her palm. Zhou Zhou said, maybe you need this. She did not specifically come here, but she was just passing by. Before she knew it, she was already standing in Yuan Xiong He law firm. The receptionist smiled apologetically, lawyer he is not in the firm. Do you have an appointment? Mo Sheng was not clear if she felt disappointed or relieved. No. Do you have anything important? I can help you to convey to him more. The receptionist looked at the clock on the wall, you can wait as lawyer he should be back soon. Oh, no need, I will come again. Mo Sheng walked away then turned back. This is lawyer he's wallet. Please help me to return it to him, thank you. An outcome not so bad. As fate was shallow, no wonder the love was not deep. Mo Sheng, what is different when you worked abroad compared to working in China? It was nearly time to go home so the workers had no motivation to work while chatting a colleague suddenly asked this. Uh. Mo Sheng looked around and saw the boss was not in, the salary abroad was much higher. What a shame. The colleagues who thought the grapes were sour, immediately expressed their disdain. Did you experience any discrimination there? A little. This is nothing to be concerned about. Hong Kong people also look down on people from the mainland. Da Bao, who just came back from Hong Kong, felt that deeply. When you personally experience it, then you would not be able to dismiss it easily. Once in front of all of my colleagues, my former boss said that China does not have authentic artists. When I heard that, I was angry. I have never so keenly felt so Chinese so I immediately pointed at the old man's nose and said what do you know about Chinese art? When we Chinese people were practicing our art, who knows where you Americans were wandering at? That's how to do it. How fierce. The colleagues kept clapping their hands, praising her continuously and then together asked her, later, what excuse was used to fire you? Mo Sheng did not know whether to laugh or cry. Although the Americans are arrogant, their magnanimity are still directly and proportional to their stature. One day, he unexpectedly took the four treasures of the study, for calligraphy, out, which I did not know where he got them from and asked me to write a few Chinese characters. He said he wanted to hang them in the living room. Wow, really? Mo Sheng, is your writing good enough? Ha, huh, I showed off my Zhang Ban Kiao's unique skill by firstly pouring all the ink on a fine writing paper. Then I pretended to do this and that for a long time, resulting in those Americans gasping in amazement. Honestly speaking, if those words were not written by me, I would definitely not know what they are. What did you write? You are a barbarian. Ack. A colleague laughed so hard and spit out tea. In the midst of loud laughter, someone called out, Mo Sheng, someone is looking for you. Mo Sheng turned around, and who is Yanzi, Flower Fairy, also known as, Starry-Eyed Infatuation Fairy and a Busybody, walked over. In the reception room, there is someone very handsome, very cool and very masculine. He obviously looks like a young and talented urban elite with a successful professional career. Mo Sheng. You have just returned from overseas but already met such good quality stock. No need to hide such talent ah. If who is Yanzi's words can be believed, pigs also fly in the sky. Usually, her words should be taken at less than their value, no, more like half of their value. Mo Sheng was very curious, she had just returned home without hardly meeting anyone, who would look for her. She never thought it would be him. The handsome man standing in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows in the reception room with his back to her turned out to be He Yi Chen. When he heard the door open, he turned around, looked at her with cold eyes, completely indifferent and without any emotions. Finally, who is Yan Zi did not exaggerate. Indeed, he was extraordinarily handsome and impressive looking. His tailored and body-fitting suit accentuated his tall and straight figure. He looked just like before, full of confident, calm and collected, but also with something like aloofness that made people uncomfortable. She was left totally speechless. In contrast, 
He looked cool and calm, nodded his head to greet her. Ms. Zhou. Ms. Zhou? Mo Sheng really wanted to smile, but it was just too difficult. He. Mr. Gesturing to a chair, Mo Sheng said, please sit down. She took out the tea leaves and looked down to conceal her expression. She was unable to look indifferent like him so she can only hide her stirred up emotions. What do you want to drink? Thank you, no need. His eyes were cold. After I say a few words, I will leave immediately. Oh, you came to see me. How did you know I'm here? He paused for five seconds before speaking. It is Jojo, I am her lawyer. What is the matter ah? His tone of the voice appeared to be chilly. Ms. Zhou came to my law firm three days ago and said you would come back, but after some time you still have not come by. I have no choice but to personally come here to pay you a visit. Mo Sheng was surprised, raised her head and met his luminous eyes. How do you know? She did not leave her name so how did he know she was the one who returned his wallet? Ms. Zhou, I can reason like any normal person. He said mockingly. Probably those who are lawyers also have this kind of ability to reason like a normal person. Mo Sheng stared at a wall. I did go to return the wallet. Since you have already received it, you do not need to make a trip here. He Yi Chen's eyes flashed. Beside returning the wallet, there is no other matter? What other matters? Mo Sheng was in a daze. There is nothing else. Very good. There seemed to be a trace of disappointment in his eyes. He walked and stood in front of her. But I have a matter. He took out the black wallet and put it in front of her. Inside the wallet, it was supposed to have a photo. Ms. Zhou, do you know anything about that? Of course. Mo Xing lowered her head. Really? I did not notice. Oh? The inside of the wallet had nothing but money. Thus, how did Ms. Zhou know it was my wallet? Mo Xing was dumbstruck and unable to reply. She almost forgot he is a lawyer, someone good at spotting all the loopholes in other people's words. Want to deceive him, it would be best to realize one's own capability first. He half rose out of his chair. Ms. Zhou, can you return the photo to me? Suddenly, Mo Xing felt baffled. What did he mean? On one hand, he put on a you are a stranger look, yet, on the other hand, asked for her photo. The person in the photo is me so why should I give it to you? Ms. Zhou, I advise you not to discuss ownership legality with a lawyer. Yi Chen said coldly. Mo Sheng was discouraged as she was not familiar with Yi Chen like this and unable to deal with it. The photo is not here. Give it to me tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have. Ms. Zhou. He Yi Chen interrupted her. I think both of us do not want to have too many entanglements with each other, let's end this quickly. End this quickly? Mo Sheng was silent for quite a while, what do you want that photo for? Who knows? Yi Chen's gaze darkened, maybe I want to keep it with me, to constantly remind me about that part of my stupid past. Stupid? Yes ah, so stupid. She even had some expectations. He Yi Chen went ahead to make a decision. I will come to get it tomorrow. If you do not have time, you can ask someone to pass it to me. Goodbye, Miss Zhou. He moved forward to leave. When his hand was grasping the door handle, he heard Mo Xing said from behind, Wait. Tomorrow, I will send it over. Good. Yi Chen turned around with a blank face. Thank you for your cooperation, see you tomorrow. Mo Xing in a daze, looked at the back of the tall and straight figure walking away. Not that she had not thought what it would be like if they met again one day, but she did not expect they did not even have the affection to say a long time no see. Really, stupid past huh? Mo Xing stood in front of the bedroom mirror and looked closely at the woman facing her in the mirror. If the short hair changed into long hair tied up in a ponytail, if the tan skin became wider. If she could still smile brilliantly without a worry. Most importantly, if the eyes could lose more than seven years of deep melancholy and be filled with innocent stash, 
then she could become the Zhou Moshing who first started university and met He Yi Chen. He Yi Chen, He Yi Chen. He Yi Chen, He Yi Chen. She was not very clear about how she managed to pursue Yi Chen. Yi Chen was even more unable to make head or tail of it. At that time, she just chased after him continuously. Finally, one time, he could not stand it any more and, with a straight face, asked, Zhou Mosheng, why do you always follow me around? If now, she would probably be ashamed until unable to show her face. However, back then, she was shameless so she opened her eyes widely and asked, Yi Chen, are you stupid or am I stupid? Eh, you're so smart, I must be the stupid one. How can I be such a failure? I chased for such a long time, yet he still does not know what I'm doing. She remembered Yi Chen was dumbstruck and speechless for a long time. Later, when he mentioned this, he laughed and also angrily said that he wanted to use the questioning tone to make her feel ashamed. But who could foresee in this world, there would be such a shameless little girl, in the end, he was the one ashamed. Thus, the outstanding student at that time in the faculty of law, after reacting slowly, unexpectedly can only stammer, I don't intend to find a girlfriend in university. At that time, she was too simple because she was not aware that it was just an excuse so in a spurt of energy asked, then I will stand in line right now and wait for you to graduate from university. I will be given priority, right? Facing such a stubborn opponent, the future lawyer and also the best debater surrendered. He quickly ran away after saying out loud, I have to go to class. She certainly was not discouraged by this. Before she could think of a better plan, she unexpectedly heard someone in the university said, I heard that He Yi Chen from the Faculty of Law already has a girlfriend called Zhou Mosheng, the name is quite a mouthful. After hearing that, she immediately ran to the self-study classroom, found Yi Chen and hastily clarified, I did not start the rumor. You have to believe me. Yi Chen looked up from his book, with a clear and bright expression, said, I know. She foolishly asked, how do you know? Yi Chen answered with a calm expression, because I'm the person who started it. Finally, it was her turn to be stupefied. He calmly explained, I have thought about it. If three years later, you are destined to be my girlfriend, I might as well exercise my rights earlier. Oh! That time ah! The mouth of the person in the mirror curved up slightly. But the smile had not reached her eyes before it quickly disappeared. Mo Sheng walked onto the balcony, her mind in confusion. Looking at the bright moon and stars, tomorrow should be a good day.